to stop the feds, people generally try three things. Vote the bums out, sue in federal court, or demand Congress repeal the law they passed in the first place. But if you want to succeed, you should do something else. Think of the Constitution like you would an owner's manual for something in your home. While some of the jargon might be a little confusing, if you have questions, you should go to the people who wrote it for clarification. Sure, James Madison doesn't have a toll-free number or live chat, but the man considered by many to be the father of the Constitution wrote plenty about how to stop the federal government when it won't follow the document he was so instrumental in writing. In a paper known as Federalist No. 46, James Madison told us exactly what to do. He provided a blueprint of sorts, a series of actions to effectively stop the feds. But what Madison did not advise might be even more notable than what he did advise. He never told you that your first or primary strategy should include the three things people normally do today. That is voting bums out, suing in federal court, or demanding federal politicians repeal federal laws. None of these were part of what James Madison advised as a first response to federal overreach. <laughs>